welcome to Gavala. Three hours drive from Baku, I'm going to show you some highlights of a town that is Azerbaijan's top rural getaway and one of its most historical settlements. When people talk about Gabala as being the ancient capital of Caucasian Albania in the fourth century, they're not referring to the town that we now know as Gabala, but to this, which looks not much more than a field. Archaeologists have found numerous cultural layers harking back even beyond the city's 4th century Golden Age when it ruled the Christian state of Caucasian Albania. They have also revealed 10th century piped water systems. But from 1222, Mongol and other invasions saw the city utterly destroyed many times. A unique living link with Old Gabala's ancient Albanian Christian culture is found at nearby Chatari Church in Nij. As with many Orthodox churches, we light a candle for a specific uh, wish. This one is for health, and over here, it's to remember the dead. One of the interesting things here, not only do you have the icons, but the sign here is in four languages. English for tourists, because there are quite a few now, Russian, Azerbaijani, and this, written in the Latin script, is the Udi language. This is the palimpsest that they found palimpsest. in uh, Mount Sinai. Um, absolutely fascinating. The way they've managed to decipher the Albanian language all comes from these remarkable texts. And so they managed to put together the alphabet and even work out what it sounds like by comparing it with the modern, modern day Udin because the, the languages are so similar. While it's obviously nowhere near as old as the church, this is the baptismal font. Uh, back in 2008, Rafik, the pastor, went to Israel and brought some drops of, well, some, some water from the Jordan River. Three drops go into the baptismal font when they want to baptize people. But aside from its historical and cultural credentials, people come to Gabala to have fun. So we're going to take a little quad bike ride up to Durja village, it's an old a shepherd's place. Um, but safety comes first, as you say. Plenty of padding. But I'm not as good as him. <laughs> What's your name again? Tom? My name is Nurlan. Nurlan, thank you, Nurlan. Nice to meet you. Fantastic. And for all the family, there's Gabaland theme park with well over 30 rides and games. We're here at the National Shooting Center at Boom, a marvelous name for a shooting center, right at the edge of Gabala, and I'm going to have a go at clay pigeon shooting. I can't believe that. Up here is where the, the professionals come to do their practice. These guys in the uh, national team from the look of it. Raise it again. And fire. Gabala's top attraction are the two Fandag ropeways. That's a network of four cable cars that take you up to a high point of 1920 meters. At the top of the first cable car, you can stop for a drink and a meal, you can continue walking for about an hour to Yapmish Guzel, or you can go back down the other side to the Tufandag Hotel. 
where the network continues. That's the best winter starting point for Gabala's phenomenally good value skiing. There are 17 kilometers of piste, a mixture of challenging reds and blacks, and a long wide blue that's ideal for less expert skiers. One of the things that Gabala has done really well is to maintain its sense of being out in the countryside while creating beautiful parks like this, turning a mountain river into a whole series of cascades. This park faces the Haydar Alley of Congress Center, Gabala's loveliest building, host to major classical music concerts during the annual Gabala International Music Festival. And so hidden in this small room in the cultural center is a very helpful tourist office. If you haven't pre-booked anything, they can find you apartments, village rooms, or point you to a, nearly a dozen high-class resorts at prices that are amazingly reasonable. This is the Caravanserai Hotel in Gabala, probably the most imaginative of all the hotels in town. Half a dozen have plush spas with great Turkish baths. There are steam rooms, saunas, and excellent swimming pools. The Kafkas Sport Hotel's pool is gigantic. Markets are fun to explore with great local produce. There are honeycomb breakfasts at the resort hotels. Hotel restaurants are often quite glitzy. There are quaint cafes and many more rustic options. Great in summer and in winter. A real Gabala speciality is dasharasa, kebabs cooked between sheets of hot stones, a style originally created by shepherds who simply lacked the pots and pans to fry their dinners. So here it is, dasharasa. Laza shepherd's food with the best view in town. Mm. Wow, that sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah, Gabala Football Club is in the Premier League at the, in the top three, regularly plays in Europe, and yet to get into the games here is free. Let's go in. It's not a huge stadium, but there's lots of atmosphere. And the mountains that rise behind, which you can't quite see now it's getting dark, really add even further to the great sense of a special night out. But you certainly get close to the action here. I feel like I'm one of the substitutes about to warm up. I've even got the right color shirt. You'd never expect it here, but Gabala's Riverside Hotel has an excellent nightclub that's one of the best in the Caucasus. For something calmer, there are several impressive shisha lounges for cocktails and galleon. And around town, appealing little pubs serve beers for just a manat. That's well under a US dollar. This is just a taste of Gabala at once a modern resort getaway and a taste of authentic rustic Azerbaijan, a perfect place for a holiday in any season.